Hamilton Island is located in the Whitsunday Islands and is the most populated of 74 tropical islands that lie between Australia's Queensland coast and the Great Barrier Reef. It is a truly amazing place to experience, and we are going to show you where we stayed and talk a little bit about what we liked and what we didn't like about our stay on this lovely tropical island. If you like Hawaii, you will love Hamilton Island. Put this place on your bucket list, my friends, because it is something really special. Hamilton Island lies on the same tropical latitude as Honolulu in the Northern Hemisphere and Mauritius in East Africa in the Southern Hemisphere. It has year-round temperatures averaging between 23 and 30 degrees Celsius or 74 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Needless to say, the weather is nice all year round. Hamilton Island is the ultimate Great Barrier Reef holiday, but even if you have no interest in going out onto the reef, there is so much to see and do that I don't think you would be disappointed. Hamilton Island has beautiful beaches with clear blue water. There are a plethora of restaurants and one tiny IGA grocery store for food. There are amazing animals that I have not seen anywhere else, on the reef of course, but also on the island. Wallabies, fruit bats and cockatoos are in abundance and so fun to observe. You can sea kayak, go fishing, visit Whitehaven Beach, which is the most beautiful beach that I have ever seen. You can golf the Hamilton Island Golf Course, which is a separate island in itself. You can see the reef and islands by helicopter. You can go whale watching and you can even have breakfast with the koalas in the koala gallery. Hamilton Island is the only island in the Whitsundays that has an airport large enough to cater to commercial aircraft. And we flew onto this island using Virgin Airlines and we departed using Qantas. The airport runway is right beside the driving range. Huh. The island is mostly car free and we found it really convenient to rent a golf buggy. It was expensive, about $100 a day at the time of this video. If you don't want to rent a buggy, there are free island shuttles that stop all over the island that you are welcome to use to get around. There are also several hotels on the island that you can choose from. There are apartment rentals available to suit your vacation style, your budget, as well as accommodating the number of people in your group. We chose to stay at the Reefview Hotel. The Reefview Hotel is a family-friendly hotel with spacious, comfortable rooms. All of the rooms have private balconies looking out onto either the island's tropical gardens or the Coral Sea. There are several room types that will fit many budgets. The hotel is located directly across from Cat's Eye Beach and close to many of the island's restaurants, activities and entertainment. As I mentioned earlier, there's a complimentary island shuttle that stops right in front of the hotel. Something I want to mention quickly while we're on the subject of transportation. Guests of the Reef View and the other island hotels get picked up at the arrivals baggage area at the Hamilton Island Airport or at the ferry dock where you can choose to also come in from Arley Beach. Easy and convenient so no need to worry about getting to the hotel from the airport or the ferry. Another note is that the free shuttles work really well and because the whole island is Wi-Fi enabled for everyone, you can see the shuttle schedules on the island app. to insert a picture of the app here and show you what it looks like and what you can do and see with it.
You can see hotels and other accommodation options, make restaurant reservations, see the restaurant menus in advance, look for activities and tours, and check out the shuttle schedule, where it's at, as well as an island map. On a side note, make restaurant reservations in advance. We didn't do this because we wanted to have more freedom with our schedule, but that turned out to be a bit of a mistake as many of the restaurants we wanted to eat at were booked up before we even arrived, and we did not get to eat there. Lunch was, of course, easier to get a reservation for than dinner, but I wanted to give you a heads up that personally, if I was doing it again, I would pre-book some restaurant reservations in advance, or you might find yourself grabbing some sandwich fixings from the IGA store. You can make reservations for most restaurants already on the app. If you choose to book accommodation that has a kitchen, you can find almost everything you need at the IGA to look after your group meal needs. As you can see, if there's something going on in Hamilton Island that you want to know about, it is probably already on the app. Back to the Refew Hotel. When you stay at the Refew, you have use of their catamarans, windsurfers, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, and snorkeling equipment. They also have a gym and a spa, as well as tennis courts, so you see that there's a lot to do if someone in your group who is not comfortable going out on the reef. There is free wireless internet everywhere, and they really have to do this because the island is entirely cash free. Even if you want to do laundry at the hotel, which we did, it is a tap system for your credit card. Try not to make the mistake of bringing cash onto the island to use, or you will need to make a trip to the bank and have it converted into a Visa gift card to use around the island. It's not a serious problem, but it could be a bit of an aggravation if you don't know. So now you do. The hotel has 363 rooms, a restaurant, a lounge, and they also have hospitality suites. Checkout here is at 10 a.m. so if you have an afternoon flight home, the hospitality suites are a handy place to shower and change before your flight. The hospitality suites also have lockers in them just in case you need to lock anything up while you're still enjoying the beach. Even the views from the elevators are gorgeous. Here is a tour of our Coral Sea View room. We found the room comfortable and spacious and the balcony was a good size, but the reason to really book this room is the view. The views made up for anything else we didn't like in the room. 
We enjoyed the bed, it was comfortable, and the room size was great. We had plenty of space and we never felt cramped or crowded. They provided a kettle for tea and instant coffee and some milk in the fridge. The mini bar was fully stocked. I thought the prices were too high, so we didn't consume any of the mini bar items. And I thought it was weird that they wanted to charge us $10 to remove the mini bar items from our fridge. Maybe this is normal, I just haven't run into it before. So we just shoved everything to one side, bought some beverage and grocery items for our much less money at the IGA, and just made do with the little space that was left in the mini fridge. The water pressure in the bathroom was good, and we almost always had hot water available. It was lacking only one night, but it corrected itself after an hour, so I think it just happened to be in heavy use at that particular time. It was not a big deal at all. We found the bathroom clean, but dated. It reminded me of the bathroom we had in our first condominium in the late 1990s. Everything functioned well, and the bath products were decent and replenished daily. The television in the room worked well, but again, with things being dated, the hotel charges $10 for in-room movies. Now, mind you, it is unlimited in-room movies for the duration of your stay, but in an era with fire sticks and Roku, etc., this is just not in keeping with the times. A big con of this hotel for us was the housekeeping. The housekeeping was not good at all. They basically came into the room, remade the bed, changed out the towels, replenished the toiletries, and counted the minibar items to see if we consumed something. They never vacuumed or mopped, and not once did they wipe down the balcony, which had plenty of bird droppings on and around the railing and on the seating. Not because we ate out there, just because the cockatoos are plentiful and they like to visit and see what you're up to. We ended up giving the balcony a good wipe down each day before we sat out there. There is a kids stay and eat free program with this hotel that would be worth checking out if you're thinking about staying here with children. We had an included breakfast with our sweet booking at the Pool Terrace restaurant. And I have to say that it is an excellent breakfast buffet. The food was hot and fresh and there were plenty of choices so you did not need to eat the same thing every day if you chose not to. In true Australian style, they have a large barista coffee bar in the restaurant at an extra cost, but I had the best flat white from them. Wow. The hotel has a 35 meter long rectangular pool beside the restaurant. As a reef you guest, you're able to access all the main resort pools, including the great pool with the swim up bar on the island. Overall, the reef view hotel was worth it because of its location, the breakfast at the pool terrace, the views of the coral sea from our room, and the outstanding cat's eye beach that it sits behind. It certainly could have been cleaner and it needs some updating, but the pros definitely outweighed the cons and I would absolutely stay here again. One of our favorite excursions we experienced while visiting the Whitsundays was Explore's full day snorkeling tour. I can't recommend this enough and the staff really made this trip extraordinary. We will post a separate video all about that next, so please like and subscribe so you don't miss that one. We will be back with more of our Australian adventures, including the Great Ocean Road, as well as another trip to Mexico. There is a new Secrets Resort called Secrets Moshe. Moshe? I can't totally... Sh I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll figure it out when I get there. And I think this one is going to make a serious change in my top 10 resorts for 2023. I will let you know what that new resort looks like and how it compares to my other favorites. We've got a lot coming up on the channel, so please like and subscribe, and we'll be back really soon. Bye!